Hello everyone, my name is Pavan and I welcome you all towards our YouTube channel Art of Law. And today we'll be discussing about the importance of AI tools, especially for your legal research. So in case if you're a person who really love in terms of using AI within the legal field, this video is going to be really helpful for you. And I strongly believe that, you know, the AI is like significantly growing day by day. And a person who masters AI can really flourish a lot in the legal field. Or you'll be like very left behind this uh, entire tech era. So I feel like you all should be knowing AI tools, very important, very crucial for the same. And today I'll be just showing you a small legal issue and how you need to do your research with few couple of AI tools is what I want to show you. But these tools, one tool which I'm going to show you today, it's super crazy, super important. As well as in the upcoming days, you feel like I need to post more videos about it. Let me know in the comment box so that I'll do the same. So it'll be really helpful for your uh, legal research. And I personally believe do not use ChatGPT as a whole for everything. You need to use the AI very smartly so that, you know, it'll be really helpful for your research, but in such a way that it is not providing wrong information. So today I'll be just showing you a small, uh, small case and I'll just present my screen and then I'll be just presenting it to you. So now uh, I hope all of you have uh, seen this case about this Ranveer, Ranveer Singh's photo shoot and the laws covering obscenity in India. So this is the case, uh, for example, the Mumbai police registered an FIR, uh, FIR against the actor. Yeah, I hope you all can see me. Yes, um, FIR for sharing photographs from an apparently a nude photo shoot of the New York based paper magazine. What is the case about and what sections of the law is he supposed to have broken? Now, maybe we are going to deal about, for example, if you're advocate, being a junior lawyer or uh, being an advocate, if the their uh, if you're a respected senior advocate or somebody is reaching towards you to understand about the concept of obscenity, where the Supreme Court has given, like for example, if a senior is telling that, no, where the Supreme Court has given any specific definition of obscenity for the same. Or if your senior is asking to do a research about, you know, obscenity which particular section, like for example, section numbers, he will be surely be giving it to you. But if he's asking you to figure out the landmark cases for it, which most of the law students do not like, so in order to figure out the best easy method is about go to an app called as Perplexity AI. Okay, it's called as Perplexity AI. And the beauty of this AI compared to ChatGPT is about uh, you just copy paste, you just put a question over here and then it will tell you the links from where it is basically taken up. Okay, link exactly from where it is taken up. So for example, I'll be typing over here as chat act as an expert in criminal law advocate from India and find landmark cases deciding the Supreme Court of India in which the following legal issues was addressed. Okay. Okay. So I want what landmark cases decide by Supreme Court of India in which the following legal issues was addressed, whether the Supreme Court has given any specific definition of interpretation of the term obscenity under section 290 of the IP. So I want landmark cases. So let's see what magic does uh, perplexity AI brings. Yeah. Kudos. Yeah. See, look at the case over here. One is about uh, Ranjit the Udisha versus the state of Maharashtra case. Bobby Art International versus the Ombal Singh case and Avik Sarkar versus the state of West Bengal case. So if you observe over here, along with the case, they've given this uh, footnotes also. Like from, from where they've taken this particular link. So once you read it and once you proofread it, then you can surely take this and then go figure out your, uh, you can go apply uh, this case law. So you can get the citation of SEC platform and you can use it. But as a quick note, here you'll be able to see it. For example, in the band, uh, Bandit Queen, which depicted graphic scenes relating to the rape, the Supreme Court ruled that artistic merit could exempt works from being classified as obscene. The judgment highlighted the obscenity should be assessed based on the overall purpose and context of the work rather than isolated scenes. So that you can basically see in a similar way in Avik, Sarkar was the state of West Bengal. So the prompt you need to give is about chat, act as an expert, criminal law advocate from India and find landmark cases uh, deciding by the Supreme Court of India in which the following legal issues have been done. So I'm just instructing, I'm just sending this particular prompt. So you can just copy paste the same kind of prompt and put your legal issue for anything respectively what your advocate is asking for. And then surely you'll be getting this case and then you can use it for your research. And also the additional links, you'll be finding it over here also. You can search over there. And that's a beauty when Supreme Court the links are also over here. So that's the beauty of this particular platform. It just gives you an exact link from where you need to do it also. So that's all for today's video. Hope you all liked it. So this is a very short uh, video and to tell you how to use these AI tools respectively for your entire, uh, you know, your entire research work to everything. So I hope you all enjoyed. You all are learning for the same. Wish you all the best. Good luck. Thank you so much. Take care. Goodbye.